Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here, and today I'm going way, way retro, all the way back to the Amiga 600, okay? I'm playing a game called Myth History in the Making. Man, this game destroyed me as a kid, okay? This was, without a doubt, my most played game as a kid, okay? I played this like crazy, okay? I was addicted to this game. I fucking loved it. You know, the game's got atmosphere, it's got good graphics and sound for the Amiga 600, that is, okay? And at the time, I was just blown away by this game, just looking at it, okay? And actually, I remember going into the store and buying it. I think it was about 1991, 92, okay? And just the box art had me hooked already, okay? It was this big-ass barbarian guy wielding an axe about to hit, you know, about five or six skeletons with it. It just looked awesome, okay? I needed to play it. I think the game originally came out in 1989, alright? So, I didn't play it as soon as it came out. Like I said, I played it a few years later. Alright? And man, fuck. Such a good game, okay? This was probably one of my most favorite games on the Amiga 600, okay? I just loved it, okay? It was awesome. So let me just go ahead and press start here. Skip all this shit. Quite a long intro if you let it play out, okay? Alright, loading Hades, Realm of the Damned, the first level. Now as a kid, I never finished this game, okay? Fuck. There was actually a period of a month there where I played this game every day, and every time I played it, I'd progress, you know, a bit further, a bit further, a bit further, sorry, a bit further. But just that Egyptian level where you get stuck at Anubis, okay? I could never pass that shit as a kid. That fucked me up hard. Alright, so this is what the game looks like. I guess I'll explain the basics and the controls. Let me just go down here, otherwise these skeletons are going to fucking pester me like crazy. Alright, so if you look at the layout on the top left we've got our score directly to the right of that is items and you can switch between them okay so we've got our fists punching and kicking and this fireball I just picked up to the right of that is how many lives we've got okay so two lives and the three orbs represent your life bar as you see I just got hit by that fucking hell these things are so annoying get the fuck out god let me just fuck okay he's gone so basically you can jump, okay, you press up to jump, left and right, moves him left and right, hold down to duck. Now, you got to remember, okay, the Amiga 600 had a joystick, okay, but it only had one button, okay, and that was called the fire button, okay. Forget your Xbox 360 control pads and PS3 control pads where you've got like X, Y, you know, B, L, left bumper, right bumper, left trigger, right trigger, forget it, okay? The Amiga 600 had one button, that was it, okay? It was called the fire button. So it's it's really quite amazing what they've done with this game, just having the ability of one button, you know what I mean? Like fucking one fire button, that's it. So if you go ahead and hold the fire button, he does that, okay? He takes a combative stance. Now, to make him punch, you press forward, and to make him kick, you press down. Alright, so that's all you really need to know at this stage, until we get a sword weapon later on. So the goal here is to kill as many... Oh, fuck, I'm taking a bit of damage. I need some health. These green little demons give you health, alright, so if you're low, take care of them. Problem is, they fly all over the fucking place, okay? They're a pain in the ass. Do the kick move, it's more powerful, okay? Punch those green demons. Okay, so there's our sword. Fucking need health. Give me health. Get over here, you fucking ass. There we go. Alright, and I also got this fireball. Alright, you need that as well. You know, this is really cryptic what we need to do now, okay? And as a kid, surprisingly, this was the easiest part of the game for me to figure out. I can't believe I actually did this without any troubles, okay? But... If you've played this game before, you'll know what I'm talking about, alright? So, like I said, you need to get the sword by killing enough skeletons first, and you need to get this fireball just by killing one of those green demons, okay? So, next step 
is to slash this skeleton down, alright, then decapitate it. So, sword controls are the same, hold fire, right does a stab, left does a backwards slash, and upwards and right, okay, so upright does that, which is awesome for decapitating skeletons and enemies, okay. So, by decapitating that skeleton there, and, okay, and his skull falling down in the flame pit blow, it's made this devil demon appear. We have to take care of this asshole using the fireball. <laughs> Alright. I like to just get in the corner here. Oh, fuck off. Give me that. Take a hit, you fuck. God. You only have a limited supply of these fireballs, so don't go crazy firing them, okay? Okay, I think he takes about four hits, maybe five. Fuck off, those green demons. They're so fucking annoying, okay? They don't do much damage, but man, they just keep pestering you, you know? Just fuck off. Alright, get him on the way up. There we go, awesome, got him with the last firebolt. And he drops this trident weapon, okay? Which we now need, because if we didn't do all that shit, okay, and if you just kept progressing to the right, you'd come to this giant lion, who is just over there to the right, throwing all these fireballs. I don't want to jump down there, because he'll fuck me up. So all you need to do is throw the pitchfork at him, okay, and that will kill him in one hit. And that's basically it for the level, okay. I guess I should also point out, at this point, Back in the day when I played this, okay, I felt like I didn't get enough lives, okay, so I'd die and then, you know, I'd have to continue. You can extend your life bar by an extra orb, which we get in this level actually, okay, and it used to piss me off when I died, like I've got, say I've got two lives now with the four orbs, okay. So, I get, well, let, let's just do it now. I'll talk about it after I've done it, okay? So, for here, we just jump across these little assholes. Come and we've got this chick here. Follow her commands, okay? Stop. Stop. Stop when she says stop, Come okay? Trust me. Do not disobey her. Stop. If you don't stop, if you keep going right, she'll turn into this big-ass demon and just kill you in one hit, okay? And there goes a the life. Stop. Kneel. Kneel, press down to duck, and bang, there's an extra life orb. Now, as I was saying, okay, uh, back in the day when I used to play this, you can see I've got four orbs of health now. Now, if I was to die another two, three times, okay, and lose all my lives, I'd go to the continue screen and I'd have to continue to keep playing. I mean, the game's a bit fair in that aspect. It gives you four continues, which is pretty good. But the thing is, you go back to having three orbs of health, which fucking sucks, okay? So, what I was going to say is, if you want to cheat, so to speak, you can press start to pause the game. Once you've paused it, type in snuffle cake, okay? S-N-U-F-F-L-E, cake. And then unpause the game, and that will give you infinite lives, okay? So... It'll still say 2, for example, now, but if you die, it'll say 2, okay? It'll never go below that. I'm pretty confident I can get through this without cheating like that, okay? So... Alright, so what you want to do is bash that statue there, hitting its leg, and that will give you the shield. And it's pretty good, all these little assholes sort of bow to you with the shield. You can just go ahead and bash them <laughs> across the head. I always thought this was really satisfying as a kid, just fucking running along here, bashing him in the head with the shield. Ooh, one more. Guess there's no real point other than to increase your score, but whatever. Alright, so at this point I'm going to have to insert disc 2. <laughs> Classic Amiga games, okay? They usually came on about 2 or 3 discs, sometimes even more. I remember there was a game which had about 7 discs. Fucking bullshit, I can't remember the game off the top of my head, but... Alright, so this is on an emulator, so... I've got to switch out the disc, so let me just go ahead and do that. Okay, done. And when I say switch out the disc, okay, I just mean select the other file, basically. 
I still do have my Amiga console, but man, it's fucking buried somewhere. With heaps of games, okay? I think I've got over 300 games, just shit everywhere. Boxes. I could probably sell that shit for heaps. You know, the Amiga 600 was the first console or computer, so to speak, that I ever had as a kid. Alright, so this is the type of shit I grew up with. Alright, the old Amiga 600 games. This one being one of my favorites. Okay, here we go. So jump down here, hold the shield by pressing the fire button. Wait till Medusa there does her three eye laser attack, then jump over. She'll do one. Wait, she'll do another three. One, two, three. Quickly switch out to the, sh the sword and decapitate her. <laughs> Alright, so now you've got Medusa's head as a weapon which shoots fireballs. That's fucking awesome, okay? So even now, the graphics are still pretty good, okay? They're holding up, the sound's awesome. My favourite level is probably the Egyptian level. Alright, so... Here we've got three... Well, it's a dragon with three fucking heads, okay? So what you got to do is sort of get close enough and just hit him like this with the Medusa head. There we go. And same to this one. Okay, and to the final one. Hopefully I can do this without losing a life, but... Oh, fuck, just done it. Almost killed me there. Alright, Maelstrom Gateway to the North. This is probably the shortest level in the whole game, okay? But pretty cool, like as you can see on the top there, all our items are gone, alright? All we've got is our fists. So what you gotta do here is just kick this asshole. I think we're on a ship with all these Viking type enemies, I don't know, it's pretty cool. The lightning in the background, thunder. And grab that axe, and bang, go ahead and fucking decapitate them. With the axe, okay, you gotta hold the fire button and press up, and that will do the decapitation move, okay, as opposed to, sorry, as opposed to pressing up and right, like you did with the sword. So the goal here is we've got this crow. Alright, we've gotta make that fucker move, get off its little post there. So to do that, just keep decapitating these guys constantly, okay? Just keep going left and right, over and over, decapitating them. There we go, it's on the move, and when it's on the move like that, It'll sort of swoop down <coughs> at certain points, okay? Fuck off. When it swoops down, you got to hit it. <coughs> okay, there we go. When you hit it, it'll drop this coin. Press down to pick it up, and bang. That is the level done and dusted. So, pretty easy level, okay? Looking back, this is actually quite a short game. But fuck, the amount of time I spent playing this, my god. You know, just that first level, like I told you, is so cryptic. You've got to knock down that hanging skeleton, decapitate it so its skull goes in the fire. In the fire, okay, when you do, the devil comes up. That shit alone took me forever to figure out as a kid, okay? But it didn't bother me, because I loved this game, you know? I just wanted to keep playing it. Alright, so kill this, these assholes. They drop all these throwing knives, okay? Extremely important, you need to use this weapon on this level, okay, because you've got those big giants there. You can kill them with the axe, but fuck, it just takes way too many hits, okay? And you can't simply jump over them either. They'll stop you from doing so by doing like a hammer blow attack, which does heaps of damage, okay? So use the throwing knives here, okay? Big ass giants take about three. Ooh, run away from it, okay. God, they just keep respawning, don't they? Alright, so here, grab this torch. Oh shit, select it. And you've got these ghosts here to take care of. Pretty easy, just keep doing the jab attack with it. Okay, by holding fire and just pressing forward. Get out. Get the fuck out. You don't have to kill them all, just a set amount, okay, and then they'll all sort of disappear, like so. And this chick here, 
we'll do that and drop this awesome fucking sword. Which we don't use as of yet, okay? Just keep using the throwing daggers, throwing knives for now. Until we get to the boss of the level. Okay, might run back a bit and make another one of those spawn. Can never get enough of these throwing daggers, okay? Alright, so here's the boss of the level, this big ass dragon. What you want to do here is switch out to the sword. After he's done that move, get in there. Ah, oh, fuck, he's going to do a fireball now. Jump over that. Just keep doing this, okay? Fuck off, you ass fuck. you got to keep doing this to make him open a wound there. <clears throat> okay, surely that's going to open soon. There we go. Okay, we've made the wound open. Now to hit him, kill him outright. One, two, three, four, five daggers, and I think that's it. There we go. Alright, so that is that level taken care of. Haven't died once yet, which is pretty awesome. You know, like a lot of games that I play, I tend to play through them two, three, four times before doing the final video. But with this game, I didn't need to, okay, because I spent so much fucking time playing it as a kid. I pretty much remembered from heart everything you need to do, okay? Up until the Egyptian level. I only sort of figured out recently what you need to do to get past that, and I'll go through that once we get up to it, okay? But yeah, I just did an, uh, an, another playthrough of this game the other day, okay? Just sort of get familiar with it again. But it was still pretty easy as shit, okay? Everything was in my memory bank. Such a fucking good game. Alright, so here what you're going to want to do is progress up to the top, run forward here, and just keep throwing these daggers at these assholes that come out. <laughs> okay, when you kill him, he'll drop life. So grab that, and head up to the top. Don't even worry too much about that skull shooting fireballs at you. Because when you kill the Vikings, okay, they'll drop health. These fucking pods here that keep shooting out plants, sorry, that keep shooting out these damn pods. <laughs> Get back! <laughs> I love that. Get out, you fuck. Alright, quickly grab some health because this guy will appear and take you to the boss. Okay? Still a pretty easy boss fight, okay? Fight, mortal. <laughs> fight, mortal. That voice acting sounds fucking terrible. I reckon it was just done by the developers themselves. <laughs> sounds like shit. Okay. Gonna need a lot of these thrown daggers, okay, so... Make sure you kill all these red demons and collect them. Grab the health as well. Alright, so this guy has appeared. Now... Kill him, you gotta throw the throwing daggers at him, okay? He'll appear on. You can see that there's four platforms here, okay? He'll randomly appear on one of them. The trick is to get to sort of the one just below him and throw the daggers at him, okay? Because as you can see, his attacks are missing me when I'm standing on this platform. If I was standing here, for example, he'd hit me, okay? So that's perfect. He's there again. Two, three, four, five, six daggers. Try and get a seven one thing. Yep. A seventh one in, sorry. Okay, so that's him taken care of. And now we've got to deal with this old asshole. So just jump up here and throw the daggers at him, okay? Takes about ten daggers to go down. You can go ahead and dodge the attacks if you want, but I'm just going to kill him through brute force. I salute thee. <laughs> I salute thee. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, loading the Valley of the Kings now. This this was probably my most hated and feared level as a kid back in the day, okay? Because uh, it's got a lot of pitfalls, okay? And you'll see what I mean. It's a cool level. It looks awesome, okay? You know, the graphics on this are pretty fucking good. And back in the day on the Amiga, they were awesome, all right? So what we need to do first is jump over here and go through this door. Just stand directly in front of it, it will open, okay? And it will take us into this 
area here. You got this swinging axe on the top. Be careful, you've got to duck when it goes past. If you don't, it will kill you in one hit. And there's this. Fuck, there's all these platforms and pitfalls, sorry, everywhere. Like these spikes. If you run in front of these spikes, they will kill you instantly, okay? So be very careful here. Fuck, this is tight. Alright. Oh, jeez, fuck. Oh! Okay, so that's what I wanted to get, this eye item, okay? As a kid, I never actually went through this door. Okay, I just progressed through the level and got through it without it. But you need it, okay? Because we cannot complete the following level without it. Alright, so make sure you go in there and grab that first. Alright, now we'll go up to the top. Fuck these damn snakes do hefty damage. Fuck off this bullshit. Get out, you fuck. Alright, so jump all the way to the right. Don't even worry about that snake. And we've got to go through this door here. See if I can do this without dying, but I expect to lose a life here on this level. Be careful here that thing falls down. I was prepared for that. And that axe is going to come across. You know, I'm familiar with everything that's about to happen here, alright? But if it's your first time playing, you are going to die, okay? I have no idea how to avoid that shit either. That's fucking bullshit. I always get hit there. It does heaps of damage too. Such a fucking shit. Alright. Go through this door. Fuck, go, 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 go. Okay, good. <sighs> Fucking hell. And in the background, you can hear some awesome, like, chanting and shit. I love that, okay? That's what I mean, you know, the game's got atmosphere, it has awesome sound. It was just such an awesome game to play back in the day as a kid, okay? I loved it. Alright. Very careful here. Oh! Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And as you can see, just to the right, you can see, see how there's that flame just to the right there? If you look below it, there's a spike in the ground. That's another trap, so. Whew, I don't want to die here, so. Fuck, alright. I just want to do this. Go past the spike and jump at the specific moment. Ah! Oh! Oh! Alright. I did it without dying. Oh my god, fuck. Jesus, that was fucking tight. Alright, the Chambers of Anubis. This was the level I could never, ever, ever pass as a kid, okay? This was the furthest I ever got. And, you know, I, I used to do pretty good up until this point. Like, pretty much haven't died at all. I think as a kid... I may have even done the same thing, you know. I mastered all the levels up to this point, but I could just not progress, okay? And that was because I did not have this eye item, which we just collected in the previous level. We need that here, alright? Now, this is probably the best level in terms of atmosphere. I used to fucking love this shit as a kid. Because these guys keep chanting shit. Defiler! I love that. Alright, you'll notice we've picked up this cross, okay? If you stand in front of here and use it, it'll actually regenerate health. I don't need to do it yet because I'm on full health. But if you take a few hits, alright, the good thing is here on this level, you can just go ahead and use this cross on these locations and you regenerate health, which is fucking, which is fucking awesome, okay? Alright, so just do the stab attack here to kill these guys. Take about three stabs to go down. Defiler! Get out, you assholes. Get the fuck out. Pick up that item. I think that's just points, okay? That wasn't an actual key item that we collected. Get out. Alright, next step, we go up the top here. And you'll notice that there's a guy to the right there shooting shit out of this fucking hat he's wearing, okay? We need to get that hat off him. Alright, so we've got to kill him. I'm going to jump up just after he's done that one, and whew, just keep doing the stabs, okay? Three stabs, you'll go down, pick up the hat, and actually I won't equip it just yet. Break this. And we'll pick up another item, a canopic jar. 
there are four canopic jars on this level that we need to collect. If you get through this level without collecting all of them, you're fucked, okay? You need them to progress past the following level, okay? So four canopic jars, make sure you collect them all. Alright, so we've got our cool fucking... It looks like a snake hat or some shit, like a cobra hat, I don't know. Looks awesome. So I'm just going to jump over these mummies for now. But basically, if you shoot it, that's what happens, okay? Hold down the fire button in the direction you want to shoot. And just fucking awesome, okay? Unlimited ammo. Great weapon. Alright, so I need to switch out to the sword and break these. Get the canopy jars from them. Quickly, so ah, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to jump over them, whatever. Who the fuck is saying that? I think there's a priest up there which I haven't killed yet. It wouldn't be these mummies saying it. Alright, break this one here, grab the last canopy jar, let me just check. One, two, three, four, perfect. Alright, and I'm going to go back to this weapon, because I'm going to have to go up the top and kill the priest with it, okay? Ah, oh, fuck, get up there. Damn, so many mummies down there. Fuck, he got me the asshole. Alright, there he is, the priest. Kill him. Easy. And I'm going to switch out to this now. And heal. <sighs> okay. Looking at this image now, like just looking at this screen, okay? This screen defined a period of my childhood that dr just drove me fucking insane, okay? <sighs> because this was the point where I could not progress any further, okay? And I tried everything as a kid back in the day to kill this fucker, okay? This Anubis-like dog creature here. And, you know, I tried using this hat and shooting it. Doesn't work. I tried using the sword. It didn't work. I tried using the canopy jars. They didn't work. You know, I went fucking mad as a kid. And it used to burn me because, I, you know, I'd play it for like an hour to get up to this point or whatever and I'd get stuck here and I didn't want to switch the game off you know there was no save feature I couldn't come back to this level there was no internet back in that time you know I couldn't just go online and look up a walkthrough I was fucked okay you had to figure out this shit on your own <sighs> and it's only now thanks to the internet that I realize you need to get this eye item okay so if you switch out to it okay and use it uh, hang on, let me just fucking get in front of it here. Oh, what's going on, you fuck? Alright. Use it and then fire it, okay? It's a bit finicky what you gotta do, but you have to use it so that that symbol flashes there and then fire it, okay, by holding the fire button and pressing forward at the specific moment that that Anubis dog sort of looks at you, okay? Whew. But that will allow you to do a, a big jump up to the top here, okay? Otherwise, you will not be able to reach that platform by regular jumping. So that's it for that level. My God. Feels so fucking good to pass it now. All right, so I'll go ahead and insert disc three. And there we go. Disc three has been inserted. Loading Tomb of the Pharaoh. Fucking Amiga games and their insert disc twos and threes and fours. My God, <laughs> you know they came on those three and a half inch floppy disks, the games. And like I said, there were some games which were just insane. You know they were on like seven discs, sometimes even more. Just fucking bullshit, constantly switching out. All right, so this point here is where we need to use the canopy jars. All right. Now, you got to jump on these platforms here, okay, there are four platforms, and you got to put the ca correct canopy jar on the correct platform, okay? If you don't, you're fucked, okay? The first time I did this, and this was actually just yesterday, alright, I had no idea what order to put them in, so I was just whacking them in, okay? And I didn't even know if I was doing it right, like, I, for example, I put, I think I put the blue one in here, which is wrong, okay, it's actually the green one that goes here. And that pharaoh head in the middle there started shooting fireballs at me. I didn't know that was wrong, like, you know, because it sort of stopped shooting after a little while. I was just dodging it, and then I put the next canopy jar in. 
But the trick is, okay, when you put it in, I'll just do it, okay, I'll put the green one in here because this is the correct one to use. Alright, you'll get that 1000 point symbol, okay? That, you know you've done it correct when that happens, okay? If you put the wrong one in, okay, so for example, if I put the blue canopy jar in there, that, like I said, that pharaoh head in the middle will start shooting you, and the canopy jar will sort of appear here, and you can re-pick it up again, okay, I believe. So, that's how you know if you're doing it right or wrong, okay? You know you've done it right if you get the 1,000 points come up, you know you've done it wrong if that pharaoh in the middle starts shooting you, okay? So, blue one here is the correct one. Now, for this one, these canopy jars are pretty much the same color, but it's... You can tell, like, this one's got sort of a pharaoh tip for the head, and this one's got the Anubis for the head. So we'll use the Anubis one here, and then the pharaoh, alright? And that's it, we can now go to the right, and just keep running. You've got this giant fucking pharaoh sphinx head. And you go into a meditation pose, and just mash the button like crazy to shoot this fucker, okay? You sort of got to get in an alignment with its eye. Okay. Oh god, and ooh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, It takes quite a lot of damage, this boss, okay? You gotta be on top of the ball with this shit. It's fucking. Oh shit. Oh god! Yeah, just. Because um, if you do get hit, especially by that. That fireball there that sort of separates into a. You know, three or. How many? Five fireballs. That does a lot of damage, okay? The problem is you can't just hold down the fucking button and shoot, you gotta keep tapping it. I think I'm completely missing as well. Oh god! Ah! See, look how much damage that does, that's fucked. God, just die, you fucking asshole. So stubborn. God. This is fucking tight, okay, I don't wanna die now. I, c I reckon I could potentially get through this whole game without losing a life, okay? If I manage to do that, that's fucking awesome. Oh, whoa, whoa. Mm. Okay, bang, there we go. Fuck. Finally, you stubborn fuck. Took a beating to go down. Alright, Realm of Chaos. Second last level of the game. You're, si you're still in that meditation pose, alright, which is cool. And, you know, you just keep pressing the fire button to shoot. It sort of reminds me of Galaga, this level, okay, but on a sidewards angle. You'll, you'll know what I mean. Like, look at it. We're in space and we're just shooting these fucking, I have no idea, space invaders or some shit. I don't know. It's really weird, okay. Jellyfish. This level seems, you got to be sort of focused for this level, try not to take any damage, because you can get fucked up quite easily, if you're not on top of the game here, okay? Okay. That thing sort of just gives you temporary invincibility, I'm not even going to bother using that, okay? These regular fireballs that you have get the job done perfectly. This one's a giant fireball, as you can see, and we picked up this one here, which is pretty good. I mean, it sort of shoots out an array of those sort of brown-coloured fireballs, which is pretty good. I don't know. It's not really necessary, though. Like I said, you don't need that. You just need to use the... Um, actually, look. So you see, this sort of gives you invincibility for a little while. Fuck, what am I doing? Switch back out to these, you fuck. Oh my god, alright. Sorry, I was just trying to show you the... Oh man, I'm taking too much damage. Look at this shit. Mm, ah, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Fuck, there's a possibility I could die here, okay? Alright, I've got to really focus here. These ones shoot, okay, if you leave them. So make sure you kill them before they have the chance to shoot. Only a couple more hits and I'm done. It was really... Oh, shit. What am I doing? Fucking sloppy. You know, my thumb's starting to get real fucking sore from just constantly pressing the button over and over again. You don't get any life 
on this level, which is unfortunate, because, I don't know, you fucking need it, like, if I was just on three orbs of health, I'd be fucked now, you know what I mean? God, my thumb is killing me. Just allow me to hold the button down. What is this shit? Fuck. Whew. Okay, I'm just shaking my hand now. That was quite taxing, physically. All right, loading the final confrontation. Sorry, the final confrontation. So this is the boss fight. Very, very easy. Okay, quite possibly the easiest boss fight in the game. You can, pop you can actually do it without even taking damage. It's just pathetic. Okay, just this giant head here, and all you do is fucking shoot. I might try using that actually. That might do some. Nice damage. Yeah, so you just gotta shoot the heads on top of his head, so to speak, okay? Oh shit. Yeah, sometimes you'll shoot out fireballs. You can actually shoot them, so that's okay. You can worry too much. Oh, just took a bit of damage there. He's getting a bit cocky. Let's try and speed this up a bit. Alright, so once you've shoot, shot that final... Oh man, got me. Okay, so now we've got to take care of him by aiming at his eye. Okay, that's how we do damage to him. <laughs> I love the sound, the scream is just awesome. And that's it. We have taken care of him. That is the end of Myth, History in the Making on the Amiga 600. What a fucking cool game, okay. And Callaghan, the Victorious, returns to Stonehenge. Okay. And this ending is just... <laughs> just look at it, okay? Just watch what happens. It's, you know, it's an Amiga 600 game, so I can spare it. But the graphics are atrocious, okay? It looks like it was drawn in paint or some shit. Alright, hurry up, fucking... Go! What the fuck? I have to press enter or some shit to skip that. I have to press enter again? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Oh, okay, finally. God, I thought the game was glitched or some shit. So here's the ending Stonehenge AD 63. Look at that! It's like it was drawn in paint. That's fucking atrocious. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck, you know, the game had such awesome graphics up until this point, and they must have just got real lazy here. Who knows? Doesn't matter too much. And Callaghan will return in Dawn of Steel. I don't really know what that means. That must be another game. But I think that's it. Like, I don't think I can press any button to sort of skip this shit. Okay, the game sort of stops at this point, which is fucking bullshit. Like, you know, you want to put in a high score or something. I don't know, maybe it's just the emulator version I'm playing it on, but whatever. So that's it, guys. That is, like I said, Amiga, History in the Making on... Sorry, Myth. What did I say, Amiga? Yeah, that's Myth, History in the Making on the Amiga 600. My most played game as a kid back in the day, okay, around 1991... Fuck, I just loved it, you know, it's, it's, it even still holds up now, like, I had heaps of fun just playing through that, you know, graphics are awesome, sound is still awesome, it's definitely got atmosphere, okay, you know, and back in that time, 1991, that was really good, okay, graphic sound, everything, it was just fucking fantastic, I loved it, okay, such a great game, you know, the Amiga 600 was my first console slash computer, all right, and fuck, there's so many good games on it. I'm just trying to think of some other games that I spent so much time playing. Super Frog, okay, Leander, Fire and Ice, E-SWAT, Cabal. Fuck, what other games did I play? Zool. And then you had all the Sega classics, you know, like fucking Golden Axe. Um, I think I already mentioned those, sorry, E-SWAT. Um, Double Dragon was there. Shinobi, sorry, that was another Sega game. You know, it just pretty much had every game, and it had Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, 
but some some of the ports were re oh that's right Bart versus the Space Mutants my God that game <laughs> you know I loved that game as a kid but fuck that was fucking hard as shit okay we'll see how I feel in terms of playing through that but my god that game fucking kicked my ass as a kid uh, yes yeah, so as I was saying Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 if you guys have watched some other videos on my channel you know I'm a fan of the Mortal Kombat games okay and I played Mortal Kombat 2 on the arcade and I loved it and I used to go to friends places and play, play it on the Super Nintendo and it was just awesome but unfortunately the first version that I owned for a console slash computer was the Amiga 600 version and it was fucking terrible okay it came on three discs and I think I actually spoke about this in one of my Mortal Kombat playthroughs it was all well and good you know you'd fight but the loading times were just ass okay but the problem the main problem I had with it sorry the main problem I had with it was when you'd go to do a fatality okay you put in the key inputs, the correct commands. So, for example, Kung Lao, forward, 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 low kick to do his hat slice fatality. The game would stop, okay, and say, please insert disc two or three. And you'd have to switch out, take out the first disc, put in the second or third disc, and then wait for it to load that disc. And then it would follow through with the fatality. That was just absolutely fucking terrible, okay? And coming from friends' houses, playing the SNES version, you know going to the arcades and playing the arcade version that was unacceptable you know having that bullshit disc swap feature whenever I had to do a fatality that used to really piss me off as a kid and the graphics just were, were not up there on the Amiga 600 version either as, you know but it did have some pretty decent sound especially for the opening title screen that was pretty good but enough rambling guys that's it myth history in the making on the Amiga 600 great game I don't know if I'd say check it out you know it is that fucking old um, you know trying to find an Amiga 600 console computer nowadays or, or or any Amiga console Amiga 500 1200 whatever would be fucking hard but I guess you could play the emulator version if you want but um yeah that's it guys great game I've had fun playing it thanks for watching I'm out